Following is a recording of the first portion of our first webinar held December 28, 2011. Enjoy it. The subject today is an overview of this repair business and I've entitled it Four is Good, which is kind of a meaningless phrase to you guys until I explain it to you. That phrase came from um, a buddy of mine sitting at Guy Alman, contemporary in his 60s, and about 10 o'clock, 10.30 one morning, I was down at Tribbles, our local supply house, and Guy was sitting there drinking a coffee, and we were swapping stories, and I said, Guy, you got a busy day? And he says, nah, I got four. He said, four is good. And I kind of chuckled, and I knew what he meant. He didn't need to expound on that. He meant four service calls. He had four service calls ahead of him that day, which is quite a contrast from the norm. I mean, GE or Sears will send a man out with 10, 12 sometimes, 8 or 9 for sure. But 4 is good, and let's find out what that means. The mystery is, is what is really a service call? Well, it's several different things. First off, it's our measuring stick. It's like a foot roller, you know, metric, SAE, whatever. It's what we use to um, estimate our production, our profitability. But we need to carefully define that simple little phrase. So in this business, the service call is the holy grail. You get so much baloney from youngsters in the business, and he says, I ran eight, ten service calls yesterday. Yeah, I completed every one of them. I've heard that for so long, and it's such a bunch of crap. What does it really take to complete a service call, and what is it? You got paid, you didn't get any arguments, and you made money. And you should be walking out of there with probably an average of $150 profit and on top of that a happy customer you want to walk out of the house with the customer smiling she handed you a check her machine is working and she has good thoughts about you she's going to refer you to the customer her other friends family and call you back the next time she has a problem that is a service call so let's think about that a minute, right? So some of you guys, you perhaps you new guys that aren't familiar with this business, you're saying to yourself, wait a minute, I can do the math. You said to me, four is good, and now you're telling me that you ought to be making $150 profit per service call, right? Well, that's right. Well, that totals up to $600 a day or $3,000 a week. And I'm sure that the skeptics among you are thinking, that's such a bunch of stuff. That's impossible. That's $150,000 a year. Okay, well, maybe I got your attention here. Let's talk about this. This is my son, Reed. Now, Dennis has met Reed. I want to, in fact, Dennis was here at the school a couple weeks back, and uh, he listened to this report that I want to let you hear, if you haven't already seen it. Now, let me click to this report, and you can listen to this young man. He was kind enough to stop by the uh, school we had every day or sometimes a couple times a day, and this was after the first week. Decent. And the week totaled up to 2275 And... After parts. Yeah. Is that after parts? That's net profit. And I did... Let's see. Seven <coughs> calls. 
seven or eight calls all on Monday, the rest of the week. I was doing two, two a day. So you had a lot of empty time there. Yeah. Yeah, because less than that. I like that, yeah. <laughs> so you got the dog yeah. week and I had a lot of empty time. Every day. Yeah. Uh -huh. Rick, how long have you been in the road? Your father's back there, but how long have you been doing this? We kind of know how we have to get to the front. You're <coughs> I've been doing it full time since the end of May. Okay, yeah. I did it full time last summer. May May to twenty eleven. Do it full time. Yeah. But probably went out there. So that's my boy talking. Now last week, the week before Christmas, he had a thirty two hundred dollar week. And I have been unable to pin him down to videotape him and go over that week. He's been so busy running around between the holidays and uh, running service calls. But I will. Anyway, I would say he's been averaging in the high 20s, 25, 27, something like that. Even at this time of the year, which is typically a little bit slower. So uh, what must happen to accomplish this goal. Well, I see that a um, few of you guys got your hands up. So I want to answer some of these questions. We've got Mike. Yeah. OK, yeah. You, you wanted to know how okay. how we got that many calls, calls coming in? Yes, yes, I do, Harry. Okay. okay. Uh, I'll answer that question uh, a little bit later in the uh, discussion we go over making the phone ring. Okay? No, I had uh, basically the same question, so I'll uh, be patient and wait. Thank you. Okay, that's okay. cool. That's cool. All right, let's see who else let's has a question else. here. Yes, he does all the service calls by himself. I've... I think I've been on two with him in the last three months. Um, very rare. He'll call in with questions, but physically, I don't go on the calls. He handles them. Just took him a few months to get to that point. So what must happen to get to that point? All right, well, here we go down the list. So that's the first portion of our first webinar, which gives you an idea of what's possible and then we go on to what you need to know to do it and how to make the phone ring.